Hi, today we have uh, Katalin Miron from Romania and uh, I've discovered his uh, YouTube channel and I was really impressed by that. So I really don't, don't know him. So I'm doing this kind of interview. Let's call it like that, even if I'm not a journalist. Uh, so to, to know a little bit more about him and also, yeah, his plans. Uh, how are you, Katalin? Hey, hey, morning, Francesco. Uh, buongiorno. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. so yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know in Ru Romanian just the frate word, which is strange yeah, because brother. it's like yeah, it's like Italian, which is fratello. And in my dialect uh, in Roman is uh, frate. So it's like almost the same in my dialect. So yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. So, they they are like really close, yeah. yeah. Really close languages. Yeah. yeah. Both yeah, Latin yeah. languages, yeah. 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 So please uh, let's start with a little bit uh, a little bit more about yourself. You have you have, you have told me something uh, some minutes ago, but uh, please uh, let's say this and also and first of all, yeah. Uh, how, how you did you become a developer? What your your job? Uh, something like that, and then we will go into YouTube because I want to talk about that. Uh, you are close to ten thousands. I've seen that you are, you are growing very fast. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow I've refreshed and I've seen uh, ninety zero one. <laughs> so that's great. Yeah. So please. Yeah. Yeah. So so my name is Katalin Miron. I'm a senior developer currently working for Skype uh, in the messaging oh. team. Uh, it's been three years now since I joined Skype. Uh, previously, I was working uh, on a startup in Bucharest for more than five years. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm doing development for a while now. I moved from a language to another. I think it's at least 12 years. Uh, basically, I, I've started as a UI, a UI designer. So I, I I, I was doing things in Photoshop and here and there. Uh, if some of you may know about Dreamweaver, uh, fireworks and stuff like that. So I was doing this in Macromedia. Uh, and afterwards, I, I had to somehow code the designs because I haven't found anyone that was willing to do it for free. So I self-taught myself uh, about uh, HTML, CSS and uh, lately JavaScript. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing I'm doing React. So I'm in this e ecosystem for I think seven years and a half or something like that. And uh, React Native I'm doing actually f since the beginning. I actually had access to the private uh, source code uh, before it was released to the public when it was announced at uh, React JS Conf in 2015. And since then. I've uh, built the very first complete application in React Native where I was actually showing the power of React Native. It was a Dribble clone, so a Dribble client. Whoever is a UI designer here or maybe looking for beautiful designs, Dribble is a place to go. So I, I felt in love uh, with Dribble and so I've built the client in React Native. Uh, it's just a it, it's just my feeling of knowing or learning a new framework. Uh, I have the Dribble API. Unfortunately, nowadays it's closed API, but uh, I was building it in React Native. Uh, so I was kind of like a React Native developer by night and a React developer by day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, we, we, yeah, we need at least two lives to, to do new things. So by day and by night, yeah, like Neo, like Neo, if you remember, man, Matrix. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, please go on. This is interesting. I, for example, I didn't know that you were working at Skype. So, for example, now I know this. Congratulations on that. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, so so as I said, it's like I was a React developer by day and React uh, native developer by night. So I couldn't afford anymore because I had a new daughter and I had a daughter and I also like, it was a, a rough time uh, doing those like two full-time jobs, let's say. Uh, so I had to look out for a new job and I joined Skype because they are doing React and React native. So they, they've built Skype cross-platform which was exactly what I was looking for. I joined Skype. Uh, the interview was really good. Uh, they hired me and I, I moved to Prague. So nowadays, because there there is hol there were holidays, I, I moved back to Romania for two months, but then I'll go back to Prague uh, in Czech Republic. So yeah, that that's my, like a short story of my uh, 
uh, yeah. of my journey here. Yeah, I've, I've been to Prague uh, when I was, uh, I think, 17. Uh, it was very really amazing. I think it is it still is. Uh, and, al and also, let me say one thing. I really like your idea that uh, you, you have looked for a job based on your interests. Interest. So you, you, I want to work with that. And so you were searching for a company. So this is very, very good, a very good uh, approach. If you can do that, uh, it's really, it's really great, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, yeah. it's a good strategy. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, if you can find yeah. a, a company that's actually yeah. on on your niche. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just uh, looking for a job, uh, it's not a problem because uh, maybe you can find that. But if you don't like what you do every day, after a while you get tired. You don't so you don't like that anymore. You want to change it again. Instead, I think in your in your opinion, you have you have chosen your your job. We can say this. Because so, this is very good. This is very good. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So yeah, and so now I'd like to talk a little bit about your YouTube channel because uh, I've seen that by the outside. I didn't know you, but I was really impressed from something. So can you can we start from the beginning? From the very first video, it's it's very strange. I've seen that some minutes ago. So if you, I don't know, if that was the same your idea from the beginning and, and now yeah please <laughs> yeah, so yeah it's, it's funny about that. yeah yeah it's funny so so the, the story of my youtube channel starts a couple of years ago actually <laughs> um so i i was doing uh, i was writing some articles for Tats plus which is like a platform where you can uh, target i don't know web design uh, or uh, mobile development they have articles and I was doing this uh, uh, course uh, from zero to hero with uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and where I was actually taking a design and coding it using uh, this technology. Uh, so I, I, I said to myself, hey, why not? I'm just recording my screen and then I'll do a time lapse because back then it was a thing. I mean, I was searching on YouTube for time lapses uh, while doing development. And I was yeah. like, OK, <laughs> really excited about that. Oh, let's let's give it a try. Yeah, yeah everybody uh, likes uh, time lapses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I'm not sure if I linked the, the, the articles because there are three different articles on Tots Plus uh, uh, where I'm actually coding exactly that, that time lapse. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll link it. Uh, uh, I'll link it in the description of the video. But yeah, it was more like, uh, hey, let's see how, mm -hmm. how things are going on because I was really scared to record my face, even though I, I'm not sure if I had a webcam back then. But anyhow, so it, it, it was like this, 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 this was my, my first video on YouTube. And then I took a break like uh, four years or so. Uh, but meanwhile, I, I've actually started a learning by doing series where I took like UI designs or motion from Dribbble, UI movement, Pinterest and stuff like that and code it in React Native. But I didn't, uh, I didn't record myself while doing it. I just posted the code or the source code on GitHub. Everyone was happy. Oh, OK, it's something new. But I was like too shy to start my own YouTube channel, like recording myself, right? Uh, but uh, I, I've received some feedback from uh, Expo team, which they are doing React Native. Uh, hey, why why not l just start your own uh, business, let's say, on, on YouTube? William was doing uh, React Native, which he, it's a React Native developer, and he was doing recordings. And I said to myself, yeah, why not? And it was like the, the, the best timing ever, because I also had to give a talk to a conference, which is AppJS in Krakow. And I said, this is a good opportunity to, uh, for me to uh, embrace this uh, like shyness and stuff like that and just start recording, uh, hear my voice uh, and also like practice, practice for the, the conference itself. And it was also like a good opportunity to post videos. So it was like win-win. Uh, yeah situation yeah, yeah and i think that we have already um, many things in common because for example i am i i was i'm still shy uh, I've, I've posted a lot about this i got so many people that we started really super shy super nervous and i i also started doing a webinar so i was a little bit let's say forced to expose myself and from that time i started making interviews uh, quotes like this one uh, so i can understand you i think uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe um, uh, if you are shy, if you don't want to expose yourself, once you do that, uh, maybe you are so happy that you keep going. So I don't know if you agree with this, uh, but this is what happened to me and to oh, a lot of many people. I'm doing this kind of interviews to show that we are not that, uh, I don't know, actors uh, or super extroverted people that uh, they like to show themselves. But yeah, slowly we can uh, improve, uh, show what we know. Uh, yeah, and you are doing great now. I've seen one of your latest video. Yeah, it's uh, super yeah, high yeah. quality. Yeah, de definitely oh. I can see the improvement. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at myself in the mirror like almost every day to see, hey, what, what can I improve? and what can I do better, but on, on the same time deliver the same quality or even more quality. Like um, instead of I'm not focusing on quantity, for example, I'm just posting one video a week uh, and I'm trying to just find the, the proper hour to, to post the video. Usually in the past I was doing every Wednesday uh, at 3 p.m. But now I'm kind of like playing around with the timing. But the main idea is like look at yourself in the past, look at your videos. Uh, it's going to be like really strange when you hear your voice for the first time. But yeah. uh, this is a normal feeling. Uh, but yeah, just practice, practice. I think the practice, it's practicing uh, something is going to, uh, you'll become a master of it, definitely. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with this, uh, of course. Uh, and of course, uh, for example, also for me, it has been, uh, I don't know, uh, how is your <laughs> your relationship with English, for example, but for me, it was very hard in the beginning to, to talk in English because I've seen a, a lot, a lot uh, countless uh, tutorials, uh, I've read countless books uh, in English, but by talking in English, uh, yeah, speaking in English is a little bit different. So I don't know. If maybe you have done practice because maybe yeah, you worked uh, abroad. Uh, so maybe that's it. Uh, why? I think, yeah, you you talk a uh, really uh, yeah perfect English. So uh, I've been, I've improved a little bit uh, these months because I've made a lot. As we say, a lot of practice. Yeah, I, I got some people who say to me, "What's the secret of uh, speaking uh, English?" And then they say, "There's no secret." That's just uh, exactly. it, but a matter of practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, it helped me out, like moving to Prague, where we we have like an English uh, speaking team, right? Nice. Even though they are like Czech, uh, Russians, Ukrainians, it doesn't matter. Mm. We are just talking in English. Definitely, it helped me out. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just practicing. It's like uh, there is no <laughs> secret in the hour. <laughs> yeah, there is no bulletproof not. solution. Yeah, totally. yeah, so, yeah, sadly not. Uh, sadly not. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the topics uh, of your channel? So, for example, what are you are you doing videos about now? What would you like to do in the future? Something a little bit in the past. I've seen something of, I don't know about animations. Yeah, can you talk about that because uh, it's interesting. Yeah, sure. So I, I've started everything about animations because I, I really love animations. I was doing it in CSS as well. I was kind of like not really well known, but uh, I was known in, in this community like a CSS animator. Um, I was doing like really good animations. Uh, this this is the this was the feedback that I've received. So. Uh, after moving to React Native, I try to do the same. Uh, so my main focus on, on the channel is doing React Native animations, basically taking some UI uh, animations and implement them or recreate them in React Native. Um, but uh, I was also live streaming. Uh, uh, I think there are 12 in total, 12 videos in total where I was building a full stack application in React Native, also backend and, and mobile side. So uh, main goal is to uh, get rid of all my knowledge or share all my knowledge about React Native animations. And, and my final goal is to actually have a full stack kind of uh, channel where I'm also teaching uh, backend, uh, also frontend web. Uh, it's, it's a section that I haven't tackled uh, for a while now on my channel uh, since the time lapse video. Uh, but uh, it's, it's really beautiful to know HTML and CSS because you can build websites. But this knowledge, you can uh, map it to mobile side as well because React Native is kind of like HTML and CSS because it's using Flexbox. Uh, but yeah, my, my main goal is to have uh, both mobile and uh, front-end worlds uh, combined together.
Yeah, yeah, I really like your idea to share all your knowledge. I also work uh, as a full stack developer, so also sharing. Uh, I'm starting to share all my knowledge, uh, and as you say, yeah, the process also of of teaching. Yeah, it's hard. For example, for me to explain something that I'm really used to that every day. Uh, I don't know if it's also your case, but it's a little bit hard because you have to stop and say, "Oh, why am I doing this?" Uh, for example, I've done an article today, so something that I do every day, but I had to stop and say, okay, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Because, I, uh, yeah, I go into the shoes of the people that are reading. Maybe I'll do also, as you said, maybe I'd like to do a live stream of me trying to do my own article. For example, I had this idea that I published an article today, so I want to try it myself. So to test my, my article live, I don't know if this is, uh, could be yeah, also an idea. But I really like uh, the idea. There are so many technologies to test, uh, maybe too many there are. But uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. And which technologies uh, do you use? Uh, to, uh, for example, for backend, I've not seen that. Yeah. So uh, I, I've built actually Usual, which is a habit application. And I was building the mm -hmm. backend using Node and GraphQL, especially Prisma. Right. Uh, and on the oh. mobile side, it was React Native with Apollo. Uh, nice. but it was, I think, one year ago. Um, yeah, I actually published the app in, into the App Store and Google Store, but uh, uh, I, I had to take them down because I'm not running the servers anymore. Uh, okay. So, but it was a fun project, anyhow. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, yeah, there is a lot, a lot of work, a lot uh, to to do. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good. I don't know if you have decided to. For example, I uh, I I done some videos on Docker, for example, on the DevOps. So I started from that. But I also would like to start maybe some I don't know some playlists on some series, as you said. For example, one specific to backend, one for front end, one for mobile. So I'm thinking about that. I don't know if you want to do to make separate videos or you'd like the more full stack uh, style. Which one? Yeah, do you in, like in more? my video, in my video, I have actually like uh, I'm going through all of them. So from DevOps because I'm also using Docker. Uh, nice. uh, I was going through some Nginx uh, things that uh, like uh, yeah. uh, setting up certificates for SSLs and Certain. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Certain about yeah, this, something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. also. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm using I'm using uh, I don't know how it's called. It's That's... Nginx Manager or something like that. It's a Node package. Uh, it's actually yeah. a Docker image, and you can. Uh, it, yeah. It's going to uh, spin up a server yeah. that uh, has a UI interface attached to it, and you can generate and connect the DNS and uh, DNS mm -hmm. and everything from a UI interface. Which is okay. like really nice. Uh, so yeah. the cert boat, it's using it's using cert boat under Nave, but you you just have an interface to just press on a button and nice. it's going to and yeah, it. and also let let's encrypt uh, so it should use. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, sorry, it's using yeah. let's encrypt. Yeah, let's encrypt. Yes, yeah, about yeah. another thing. Yeah, there's the yeah, because it's free. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For example, I'm really interested into that part. For example, even if uh, it's, it's, for in my opinion, it's good to understand this. If we need, yeah, even if you de deploy things to Vercel or Netlify, you should need to understand what's going on, maybe, yeah, in the ground. Yeah, so I really like this. We have something in common. I'm looking for something. I don't know. Maybe we can do something together. But uh, yeah, 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 so sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for collaborations this year. I've discovered the idea yeah, that collaborate with people is the best. Uh, best thing I, i'm kind of new on youtube i started six months ago now now and uh, yeah here we are uh, yeah you're so, still growing <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, we, yeah i'm working a lot I, now i'm working on quantity but uh, as you say though i'll slow down maybe and i'll try to maybe put out maybe some different content uh, now i'm doing this uh, 100 video calls in 100 days so once per day but uh, yeah after that uh, yeah let's see let's see where we will go and sometimes uh, i don't know if this happened to you that uh, we make videos that we didn't uh, even yeah think that we could do the, on, on that kind for example for me this kind of video calls was really it were really something impossible some months ago i don't know if you ever done a video on some strange topic yeah 
Yeah, I, I was trying to do a couple of them. Uh, I mean, <laughs> just going into live streaming, it was a different uh, feeling, uh, a yeah. completely different feeling because it's like, uh, yeah, you, you cannot hide anything, right? Um, yeah. So you, you cannot edit the video, you cannot do anything. It, it's just you in front of the Yeah, family. and this could be a good thing because uh, maybe people cannot understand how many hours <laughs> we pass in editing to yeah, improve, I'm, of course, to give something very good. See, I've seen some kind of videos and I, I, yeah, I can say that maybe you, you worked a lot as editing. I don't know if you edit your own videos or you outsource them, but uh, in any case, uh, they are very good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's I, I was thinking about you. You're saying something about recording yourself while writing an article. I, I, <laughs> I thought about doing the same like live streaming on Twitch and YouTube while doing a video tutorial I and like delete it, yeah. afterwards. I mean, it's just a live stream, but uh, mm -hmm. to 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 let people know what's behind the scene, because um, uh, People like uh, you need to have someone that's actually uh, showing you, hey, it's OK to start doing this and this is how I'm doing it. So uh, there is no like a uh, bullet from solution in doing video recording, but no one actually know how to record th themselves, how to edit or what's actually behind the scene. You, you only see the end result. But yeah. Behind the scene, there are a lot of things like, for example, editing, adding uh, music, uh, I don't know, record yourself, uh, swearing in front of the camera <laughs> and then come back, redo yeah. stuff. That, yeah, it's, it's, it's a process. It's a process. And, and I think that no one actually, from what I know, no one actually did it. So live streaming. Uh, while recording a video tutorial is going to be a yeah nice uh, yeah and for example i really like this kind of meta meta you know, meta communication that you really show the behind the scenes sometimes i post some uh, some uh, some photos of my lights uh, for example the people did they seem to to like that uh, to see yeah how you do how, how you did something uh, yeah you should just maybe put uh, another camera behind so you have uh, multiple cameras uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, but I really like this idea. Yeah, I think this can go yeah pretty well. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, and so um, which are your plans? Uh, yeah, so maybe for next year about uh, videos and also maybe I don't know even other other things. But I had a, a pretty like big ambition or a big goal uh, for 2020. Uh, it was to reach 10,000 subscribers. I knew from the beginning that I couldn't reach them based on, on the growth, uh, but that was my goal. I failed. Hmm. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I had to, I had to fail in order to succeed. Yeah. So it's like, it, yeah. 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 And so, yeah. Um, my goal was 2000 and I failed for, I think for 50, something like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I'm still angry about that, but. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing this just to feel, make you feel you a little bit better. But uh, yeah, I think it's more like for it's more for for us uh, maybe yeah to improve ourselves and it's more about that. But you you are doing great. You are doing great. Yeah, th thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's like that was my goal. But for 2021, my goal is to uh, be consistent and post a video every week, no matter what, uh, no matter. What will happen? I, I, I would like to post like uh, one video a week and to actually set in stone the, the hour where the audience or the subscribers will mm -hmm. know that, hey, Catalin will post a video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I would like to schedule this. And, and yeah. the other one is to just move to web as well. So like uh, tackling different uh, different scenarios, mm -hmm. see what people are complaining about or what devs issues are and i would like to not give them solutions but maybe come up with some uh, approaches to to their problems nice nice i really like for example the idea of releasing one, one video per week uh, so, as you said set in stone for example i've committed that i'll do 100 live streams so i'll do in any ways some live streams once per week i'm still need to do this this week so maybe uh, by announcing that uh, for example uh, people maybe start to follow you more. So, for example, this is something that, that I'd like to do. That people, yeah, it's uh, it's it's like a it's like an appointment uh, that people will know 
and uh, I think that after a while, maybe after some months, some weeks, uh, people are still there, maybe so, some minutes before. And uh, so this is very good, I, I think, for the channel. I still don't have this. Even if I'm publishing every day, I don't have a, a set time. So maybe this is something that I could improve. It could be interesting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Th this idea actually came from Syntax FM with uh, West Boss and uh, Stolinsky. Uh, they, they were saying that it's it's a good uh, good thing to create a habit for your subscribers. They they will know exactly on Monday you'll post a video, on Wednesday you'll post a video. They were saying about their podcast, like on on each Monday, on every Monday they are posting a big podcast. And on every uh, Wednesday, they are posting uh, hasty tips or something like that. So it's creating this habit of, yeah. of uh, uh, Francesco or Catalin will post a video on, I don't know, on every Monday or every Tuesday at that particular time. They will schedule it in advance. So they will take their time to watch your video. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's a good thing to do. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah, also yeah. For, for us as content creators, it's a good thing that you know exactly when you'll have your video up yeah. and running. So yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, and I think as a developer, so I think sometimes we are some super procrastinators, so super lazy. I, I, I talk about me, of course, not you, but uh, yeah, but we tend to think about the, the deadline. So if we have the deadline, uh, we will work uh, yeah, in that way, in that way. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you also for saying this because I was thinking already about uh, about this, but. Uh, I'm making practice I'm, so some something that you said thank you for this uh yeah yeah so and for example i've discovered thank you uh, for example i've discovered you on youtube but uh, where can we find you somewhere else uh, because uh yeah people maybe they want to no, no, ask something or follow you yeah so i have a discord uh server uh, i think mm. nowadays there are 500 users active users uh on it mainly because i had to create it because people or developers had issues had uh, troubles uh, while going through my tutorial or with uh, web development or mobile development in general and i've created this discord for them to join and ask their questions uh, ask for help and uh, if it's not me, someone else will actually uh, nice. reach them, and yeah. Uh, so it's I, I'll I'll send you the link. Yeah, I yeah. We... I don't know it by heart, but yeah, uh, yeah. But other than that, yeah, it's I'm on Twitter, for example, uh, while doing uh, behind the scenes, I'm sharing a couple of uh, 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 code snippets and what I'm working nice. on, uh, and it's uh, Miron Catalin, my Twitter handler, and. Yeah, yeah. I also have a Patreon, so I'm 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 there posting source source yeah. codes and uh, like mini projects. Uh, so if you become a Patreon, you'll have access to everything, including uh, access to a private repository where I'm coding everything, plus uh, mini project source codes. Like for example, I I was coding uh, Instagram stories and Twitter fleets in React Native. I've recreated them yes. and. I, I make them, of uh, the source code is available for Patreon, so they can go there um, at a small amount of, uh, uh, of, of yeah. money a, a month and, and they will have access to, uh, I'm posting there regularly, so it's nice. twice a week. If it's not twice a week, it's once a week. So every week you'll have a new mini project uh, that's available only to you if you're a Patreon. Nice. Uh, and of course on YouTube. So no. it's Catalin Miron Dev, my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, and we can see that you you are kind of busy because and you. Yeah. So thank you so much also to find the time to talk with me this half an hour. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I I see a bright future for you. Maybe in 2021 we can. And please uh, let's keep in touch because uh, I'd like maybe to do something together with every, every people that have been on my channel. If you if you propose me something, I will not say no to you, of course. Uh, yeah, that's it. We are done. So please uh, follow Catalin, uh, especially on YouTube, uh, and also yeah, consider uh, his Patreon, please. Uh, yeah, we will put uh, all the links uh, in the description. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, would you like to say something before before we leave to so, so, someone maybe is watching? Yeah. Yeah. Th thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to to talk to you. It's like uh, you are a really influencer on Twitter. Uh, 
uh, I, I saw you on multiple occasions. Uh, so yeah, oh. thank you so much for also for scheduling this call and inviting mm. me in, uh, to your show. Uh, it, it, it's like it's it's a good thing to see like uh, big people like you uh, trying okay, to I'm... I don't know schedule a call. <laughs> so it's like. Yeah, but, but, but maybe you are you are thinking that it's big because I have some people following me on Twitter, but I'm not that I'm not that big. I'm just uh, I just stayed on Twitter too too much time during lockdown. Basically, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I I saw your I saw you on Twitter like on every on on a daily basis. So it's like for yes. for me, you you have a word to say if if. Uh, okay. So many people are following you and you are actually discussing about how to nail your tweet. So how yeah. to actually uh, do the sentence and stuff like that. So it, yeah. it's a good thing to learn from uh, from you. And uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it, it was my pleasure. Uh, yeah. I, well, perfect, perfect. No, at least we, we get in touch, even if maybe we don't use Twitter. The, the, too much uh, but uh, yeah yeah I, I can't remember the exact moment maybe on some reply and i've discovered your youtube channel so that's it here we are yeah yeah thank through, you through people through people yeah. this is the way yeah. yeah 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 i like this i like this yeah so thank you so much catherine have a nice day yeah thank you and thank you best bye francesco and, yeah and best luck for everything yeah with any in 2021 yeah same bye -bye. to you bye bye francesco bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.